Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Outstanding. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have an Ohio beer. Right here it is from the Penguin City Beer Company. They're located in Youngstown, Ohio. And this is their Golden Ale. Mm. Checks in at 5.4% alcohol by volume. And the date stamp on the bottom indicates it is 89 days old. So let's get to it. 89 days old for Golden Ale is not old at all. Now, for Golden Ale, I wouldn't worry about it unless it got to be a year old. Yeah, once beer gets to be a year old, man, unless it's a, uh, a barrel-aged beer... Mm, I don't know. I think you might want to, might have to pass that up. I think, yeah, you have to pass that up. So we have a 12 ounce can here and a 14 ounce glass that I bought at World Market years ago. I haven't seen these around much. I see them on Amazon as part of a set, but I haven't seen them sold separately. Very beautiful, medium golden color. It has lively carbonation flowing up from the bottom. It didn't make very much foam there. Of course, we could put our stir stick in here if we're so inclined and bring it up to par. you got to be careful, though. If it comes up too far, just go ahead and stick the, uh, the stick back in. Yeah, stick the stick, baby. Yeah, and then it'll quell that. But, uh, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful-looking beer. Let's see what kind of aroma we can get on this. Hmm. Getting some lovely malts in there. Not much else, though. Not much else. Just some lovely malts. Let's go ahead and drink the beer. But before we do, we're going to thank the brewers there in Youngstown, Ohio, for all the hard work they did in bringing this beer to market. Thank you so much. Cheers to them and cheers to you at home watching. Mmm, that tastes really good. Very good job here. Delicate balance of the malts and hops have brought a very fine beer here to market. Mm, let's have some more of this. A very refreshing beer. Very easy and, and easy, clean, refreshing beer. Easy drinking. Very easy. That's 5.4%, which... Is about average for a golden ale, but 5.4, a lot of people aren't used to drinking a higher alcohol beer. Yeah, because so many of the American macro lagers are 4, 4.2, 4.4. You got to watch yourself. Yeah, because just a little bit of jump in alcohol, your body knows the difference. You may not taste it, but your body knows the difference. Now, let me say, too, that I purchased this online from rivalrybrews.com. They're an Ohio-based uh, mail-order company that supplies beers. Now, I'm fairly certain, not 100% certain, that they supply beers to the lower 48. Uh, go to the website and check them out, though, rivalrybrews.com. I'll put a link into the description box for you. I don't get any compensation. They don't send me any beer. I just think that if you want to try some good Ohio craft beers, this is a good place to try. Um, the shipping has been phenomenal. Uh, shipping is minimal for me because I don't live that far from them. They're located in Medina, Ohio, and I'm outside Cleveland, which is not that far. So, uh, yeah, try them out, man. They have beers from Ohio and I believe Michigan as well. Now, they may have other states by now. I don't know. But this beer right here is very decent. Uh, I've never been to the Penguin Brewing Company, I should take a field trip there and check them out. Yeah, just lovely, lovely malts, lovely malts. Leaving some nice lacing here on the side of the glass. It's maintained its carbonation. It's a very well-crafted beer. I would highly recommend it. Again, this is from the Penguin City Brewing Company in Youngstown, Ohio. And what does it say? A solid beer for solid people. And then on the back here it says, tough times don't last, tough cities do. Well, I'll tell you what that means. Anybody who's familiar with Youngstown, Ohio, or maybe you're not, um, the steel mills closed there back in what uh, 
it's at the end of the 1970s or 1980s you know I don't remember the exact date I remember it was called Black Monday though because that's the day the steel mills closed I could have my information wrong there because it's been a long time ago give me a break okay <laughs> but once the steel mills left that city half the population went with it as, as so many other cities did as so many other cities steel cities did uh, there were a lot of towns around uh, the United States that suffered because that's all they had was the steel mills Lorraine Ohio um, Gary Indiana man St. Louis, there's a lot of cities around the United States that suffered. And what was it? Cheap imports, man. You can't uh, compete with Chinese imports. But I tell you what, man, I'd rather have, uh, I'd rather live in a building constructed of steel from America than steel from China. Oh, any day, baby. Now, you want to say that's racist? That's not racist. <laughs> it's not racist in a bit. I just don't trust the Chinese people. I don't. I don't trust them a bit, man. But at any rate, uh, this is a good beer, and I would encourage you to try it if you can find it. I don't know the distribution on this, but like I said, you can find it at RivalryBrews.com. Give it a try. And Penguin City has a couple other really good beers as well. So there you have it, my friends. Try new things because life is short. you got to be happy. And to that end, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Hello, Dr. Dave here. You know, it's come to my attention that quite a few people are watching my beer reviews, but not that many people comment. I'm not sure why that is, but what I'm going to do is offer a special incentive for people who want to comment. So first off, you're going to have to be a channel member to be able to participate in this giveaway. But once each week on a Saturday live stream, I'm going to poll a lucky winner and you will receive $20 in cash. You can receive it on PayPal or Zelle, whichever you prefer. Those are the only two cash apps that I use, PayPal and Zelle. So, first of all, like I said, you have to be a channel member and then you must comment on the beer review. So there's not that many channel members right now, so your chances of winning are rather good. Now, if you want to be a channel member, I'll leave a link in the description box. But $20 once a week to the lucky winner. All you have to do is comment on my beer review. Just say, cheers, Dave. Sounds good, Dave. Something along those lines, and you will be eligible. So the way this is going to work is at the end of the week, I will go through the beer reviews and the one that has the most comments on it is the one I'm going to use for the drawing. And by the way, there's no limit to how many times you can win. If you want to win every week, yeah, that's up to you. It's just a randomized drawing though. There's no favoritism showing. And I'll show how it works on the live stream so you can see exactly how it works. So, hey, cheers to everybody. Thanks for stopping by.